think we've been in this for quite a while, but I think it's really amping up now. Uh, and we're reaching some kind of peak point, I believe, as we see now that it is not only the builds of arms and the builds of weapons, but now to influence other nations wholesale and to stop influence, say, from China spreading, as we see the donations of millions of vaccines from nations like America, the UK, and others. And we also see other nations pledging to send, well, to send uh, aid to such nations in greater amounts. Also to build up influence through infrastructure plans to compete with the Belt and Road Initiative from China. is very much now turning into sort of tick for tack who can outcompete others in nations around the world. And... It's just going to come down to who has more money and who can gain more influence in the end. Because as far as this is going, we are seen, we have seen things like in Taiwan when three US senators touched down in a military jet, which hasn't happened in Yonks, uh, to uh, ha uh, help send vaccines over to that nation. And I say nation because Taiwan is a nation. Uh, in straight defiance from what China has said. Uh, and... Really, we we've seen a real kick up, a real, a real ramp up in what is happening around the world. We're seeing the Belt and Road Initiative versus what is now the West's, or well, I'll say the Allies, uh, American Allies, um, ramping up their spending in other nations around the world, uh, and this comes because influence is important, soft, in, uh, soft. Soft power, as it's called, I believe, is important to influence nations to support against foreign powers. Uh, China does it, America does it, Britain does it, Japan doesn't do it as much. I will say, they did send vaccines to Taiwan, which annoyed China. <laughs> but uh, it, Japan focuses more with Korea, Taiwan and itself, as it's got Russia to the north and... China to the west now and also North Korea nearby which sends rockets over every now and then into the sea uh, nearby to Japan or flies over Japan straight into near to Guam but as for how it goes for China well I've already got a video talking about the problems China faces and this is another problem that it faces a ramp up in uh, spending around the world by the allied nations means that uh, China's going to have a problem. It either can keep going uh, and try and save face, or it can drop out, uh, cut back, uh, and look at just countries that l uh, are more local to it, around it, instead of trying to spread its influence throughout Europe uh, and South America and Africa and Asia. It can maybe just go into looking at Asia and trying to concentrate around there for now, especially keep competing with local rivals such as India. Uh, it, it's we. It's also a bit more damning that the Chinese were selling the vaccines in contrast to where the um, Americans and the West are now giving away their vaccines, though this is by the end of the year, I believe, I do not know the exact numbers, so I'm not going to be quoting anything, I, I know that there is a lot of, uh, a lot of competition now to see who gets what were, and that's kind of not what we wanted, but this is, this is turning into basically vaccine diplomacy on every level, and it's dumb, but yeah. The thing is, is we have uh, now seen much more of an increase in military spending. We've seen nations such as Britain and China who were deciding to increase their nuclear arsenals. Um, we are seeing greater influence from America being pushed into the Pacific instead of the Middle East, where America has had most of its attention put for the last uh, few decades due to many crises that have occurred there it has now switched its attention back to the pacific and its backyard which is essentially what the pacific is uh because it is being threatened by uh, china in the south china sea uh and being threatened by russia in europe essentially we are on a 
a, a very tense level right now. Do I see World War 3 kicking off? No. I see this, again, why I named this video probably something to do with a Cold War. This is essentially what people have been talking about, but it, it essentially is. It's spending within nations and having influence over nations. And it's this tick for tack game of proxy wars and supporting other groups and other individuals especially such as in Israel and Palestine which I'm not going to get into because YouTube doesn't like it as much but the, both sides have their supporters and especially in Iran and Saudi Arabia or even in the, U, the Ukraine with the rebels and the Ukrainians uh, it's 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 a very tense moment in time for this planet but it is not something that is new to us. This has happened before and it may be weird for younger generations uh, or generations who were younger during the time of the Cold War. But this has happened before and though technology has gotten better and things are a little weirder, the same premise, the premise is the same, essentially. It's global influence, global powers. Uh, and multiple wars being fought and waged with m two different sides back in each. Uh, but, yeah, it, it's essentially, it's a weird time. It's mixed in with something that isn't as common, uh, a pandemic, which makes it much, much more important for global powers to spend in countries, especially third world countries that have been vastly more affected by it because they are incapable to do what first world countries are doing on such a scale which is more vaccines because they have more money to spend on them and the infrastructure to hand these vaccines out and get these vaccines out to people is much harder in countries say like Yemen and uh, certain places in Middle East and Africa in contrast to America and other places which it's much easier to give out vaccines and they have the money to buy vaccines that's why it's so important that the US and the Allied powers essentially uh, give out vaccines for free instead because well in their eyes, it is much easier to persuade people to come over to your side, giving people stuff that they want, instead of having them pay for it like China is. But, I'm going to leave it off there. I'll let you, if anybody watches this and want, has their own opinion, then they can put this in the comments below. This video is just essentially going over the things that have been going on uh, over the last, well, year, years, years, uh, I'd say, but uh, really ramped up as of this year 2020 and 2021 um yeah if you enjoyed the video then you know what to do i'm not gonna force you but subscribe leave a like comment your opinion and yeah <laughs> bye